I've been watching your videos and tried some of the strategies you suggest with my child, but they don't seem to work. I feel like nothing is really changing no matter what I try. What am I doing wrong? Ooh. First off, thank you so much for not just coming to me and saying, you idiot, none of your stuff works because that's happened before and that has happened very publicly before. So thank you for that. But let me encourage you. There's nothing you're really doing wrong, but I want to kind of help your mindset a little bit. You said this, you, you tried some of the strategies and nothing is really changing no matter what you Almost nothing, and actually, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Nothing is just a one-time thing. And almost nothing is going to be effective the first time you try it. There's a big difference between trying something and implementing something. So when I talk about things like discipline and I say punishments aren't always necessary, you can have conversations with kids. Well, guess what? That's not going to stop your child from going out and having disruptive behaviors. And it doesn't mean punishments are never, ever, ever the answer. It just means that these are things you're going to have to do over time. Or if I tell a teacher that they need to allow a child to use a fidget during class, well, the child is probably going to goof off with the fidget the first several times that they play with the fidget. They're not going to get it right the first time, but they'll call me that first day and they'll say, this is not working. I tried it. It's not working. Or they'll try my other strategies and they try, try, try. There's a difference between trying something and implementing something. And what you have to do is you have to have this mindset of, I am going to implement this strategy. This is going to be my default. This is the thing I'm going to if it was something I said to not do, that's off the table. For instance, I say a child should never be spanked. And that, I'll just say it right here. This video is going to get a bunch of thumbs down because there's lots of people who yell at me when I say that. But children should not be spanked. So if you just say, I'm going to try not spanking, but I'm going to implement not spanking. That is coming off the table. Now you got to find some other strategies and maybe you start using some of my other strategies and you try them once. It's just not working. Or maybe it's not just about disruptive behaviors. Maybe it's about effort. Maybe it's about helping your child to work harder at things. And you try some of those strategies that you saw and it's not going to work. Well, guess what? It's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work the first time you try it or the first several times you try it. But if you implement it and you are consistent with the strategies, that is when you'll see the growth. The same thing happens in therapy. I am very grateful and very blessed to have fantastic clients with fantastic parents who are so driven and motivated to participate in therapy and to make sure that their children get the services that they need. I am so blessed and grateful right now. And I got to tell you, if you are watching this and maybe you are one of the parents that I get to work with in my therapy world, you're a rock star. They work so hard to make sure that the kids get the services that they need. And you can even see that I get emotional when I think about it because these parents are working so hard to make sure that their kids get what they need to be supported for the time that they need it. So thank you. If you are one of those parents, whether you're one of my parents or anybody's parent, and you are getting your child the services consistently, thank you so much. I know it's tough. Thank you. But there's been other times where a parent will call me after one or two sessions and they'll say, we tried therapy. We're not coming back. It didn't work. And I have to tell them one session of therapy or really two sessions of therapy, or in many cases, five sessions of therapy, or in some cases, eight to 12 sessions of therapy. It depends on what the concern is and what the goal is. But in many of those cases, that trying therapy doesn't work. But if you are consistent with therapy, that is where the change can happen. That is where the growth can happen, but it takes consistency. It's not trying therapy. It's implementing 
therapy. It's being consistent with therapy. And I would say the same to you about these strategies. If you're trying the strategies, it's not going to work. But if you are implementing the strategies and you are consistent with the strategies, that is when you'll see the change and that's when you'll see the growth. And that's what makes a lot of people give up. They try them, they say they don't work, and then they say, see, but spanking them makes them stop right now. And they don't understand like what the spanking did and what the spanking is going to do long term and that spanking is not research proven to work long term and all these other things and I know I don't want to go deep into spanking right now but that's one but whatever the strategy might be implement it be consistent with it and then you will see the change in the growth and then let me give you kind of a, a time frame to work for if it is a strategy that you're using every day it needs to be about three months, about three months of consistent work with those strategies. And let's just make that be the baseline for all these strategies. If you consistently implement them and you can say that you gave them your best effort and that you used that strategy as best as you could for three months and there is no growth and no change and nothing is getting better, then it's time to look for a different strategy. But if you just tried it once, twice, couple of weeks it's not been enough it's not been consistent enough and it's not been implemented for long enough change is hard and the first several times you use a strategy it's probably not going to be used entirely properly and the first time you use a strategy your child is not going to know how to react to that strategy so be consistent with it stick with it implement the strategy and then you'll see that change in the growth. You are not doing anything wrong. You just need to do some things longer. There you go. Thank you so much for writing in and for being so honest and for being willing to own your concern. I appreciate that very much.